Welcome aboard, everyone. Ziggy here. Janelle, madam, best friend. Is he really your best friend? I don't know. We're going to find out. This game is... Before I played, Room 817 was the hardest horror game ever. Not anymore. This is the hardest, and not in a fair way. But it doesn't get really hard till near the end, when you're already hooked. This is a single developer. This is a Unity engine. So there's the death tree. Don't don't forget it. So we're not gonna dick around, guys. We're going for it. What's up with the call in the middle of the night? Don't bother. Uh, sorry, Dal. Gee, that's not AI, is it? Woke up, huh? Speech to text. I want to ask, to are you speech? busy tomorrow or not? Or is there a specific agenda, maybe? Nothing really. Why is it? I need your help. Because tomorrow I have to go out of town. So my house is empty. I need you to take care of my house. Can you... I can do it, as, but I don't have any money anymore. Do you provide food or not? Relax and be safe. The food is ready anyway. Okay. I'll go to bed again. See you tomorrow night. Thanks very much. I want 200 bucks cash, too. Well, I hung up. That's all we're going to do. can read a couple messages, but we don't need them because we're a true detective. Previously, we don't need clues I'm very grateful stuff. because you are willing to come here to help take care of the house. For food matters, don't worry. It's in the fridge. And if 200 you're bucks. hungry, you just have to cook. I won't take long either, at least a day or two. You're welcome. It's because you are just my friend. If not... So Maybe green. I will think about it too, because your house is big, but you are the only one. It's okay. There's nothing in this house, so don't worry. I am okay. the one. Here's your room key. The room is near the stairs. Thanks a lot. I'll and go like, first. So in a few days. Please take good care of this house. Be careful, buddy. 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 Okay. Mm. I'm very sleepy. Let's sleep soon. Let's sleep soon. I need the key. He gave me the key. Oh, uh, he didn't give me the key. So if you don't grab the lamp, you'll be aft in a little while. So make sure you grab the lamp. There's probably some lamp oil around. In case you need an extra. Mm, the key is wrong. I need to find the right key. I can't call Ramad right now. He must be on his way. He must be. More oil. That's going to come in handy. Handy dandy. I didn't find much in the drawers. So things are randomly put around the house. You won't always find everything where I find it. Won't be in the fridge. So you can also put on your lamp. What you want to do is you want to click it, shortcut it, and then pick a key. I got number one. Looks nice. Oh, we can put this light on. We can put this light on. So don't waste too much of your oil. How's the key? Right there. I'm sure this is the right key. Uh, time to sleep. So something else you're going to need is this. I don't know if we can get down and read it. No. So you write this one down. Good evening to our loyal listeners of Night Journal FM. Whatever. I am Putri, so it's two nine three zero oh seven oh four. A tragic incident unfolded in the family of City and ninety six and her child. The police have finally unraveled the mystery behind the murders. And shockingly, the perpetrator was her own husband. The incident took place inside their bathroom closet, where the husband brutally ended the lives of his wife and child. 
However, in his statement to the police, he claimed to have been unconscious at the time, as if being controlled by supernatural forces that caused him... So that's to not going to fly in court. That's your defense? Act. After several weeks of intensive investigation, the mystery has been solved. The neighbors never suspected that behind the walls of a seemingly beautiful and peaceful family, a horrific tragedy was hidden. The husband, known as a good and friendly person in the neighborhood, is now involved in an incident that has left everyone astonished. This incident serves as a lesson for all of us, that sometimes, behind the curtain of happiness, there are unexpected mysteries. We share this information with a heavy heart. Let us all join in prayer for the remaining family Thank you. members to find the strength... So a husband killed his wife and daughter... Her name is Putri, and her sister's name is Petri. This is back to the room to sleep. I'm trying. I got the key, right? What the hell is that? Guest room key. Putri and Petri. Working out great. It's telling me to go back to the room. So here you're gonna see these pictures, and there's a number five, March. Keep track of that. Did I not grab that key? Poochie. And, Poochie and Petri. What's wrong with this house? Too many weird things. Okay, so now back to the room where I just was. Yep. Hello. Back to bed. <laughs> Don't eat from the poo tree. And her sister, Pea Tree. I wonder if that's the Poo Tree or the Pea Tree we're looking at. That's the Blood Tree. The Corpse Tree. That's their dad's name, Corpse Tree. <laughs> and his daughter's Poo Tree and Pea Tree. Hey, Storm. After a long time, no see. Finally, we meet again here. Coming. Can't say as I remember you from anywhere before. The nightmare. <laughs> Happen again. Happen again. Happened. Maybe I need coffee to clear my mind for a moment. It's a coffee. Have a coffee and talk. Let's grab ourselves a cold brew coffee. A cup of coffee already makes the mind calm. It wasn't I a hope cup. There are no more problems. It was a can. This. I like to drink my coffee from a can. Ah, <sighs> why does bad things always happen to me? Arr. I have to call Rahmad this time. Rahmad, ring him up, Rami. Hello, Rahmad. The electricity tokens are about to run out. What's the solution? You leave the house without the contents of the electricity tokens. It's so complicated. I've never yeah, heard of that. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. Electricity I tokens. Every month, but I forgot where to put it. Try to look for it in every drawer because I usually put it there. I hope the electricity doesn't go out soon. Thanks. Yes, you're welcome. So that could have been anywhere. That sh sheet that I wrote down. But you're gonna want the ladder. Oh, as I thought. And this is why I, I used a save at one point, 
and it was just before the power went out. Oh, I saw her. And they don't give you a lantern. <laughs> so it, the game started out, it didn't have a lantern, and the power went out, and you can't see a thing. This was the game. I had no lantern, I had no nothing. And I, I had to restart back further. A couple little flaw skis. And this ladder does not like going down the hall. There we go. Okay. So now we need our number. It was 2930. And an 0704. And then 96. Two nine three zero. Oh seven oh four ninety six. Uh oh. Zero 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 seven oh four ninety six. So I wrote it down wrong. Motherfucker. Let's go take a look on the poo tree. 2030. Oh, I said 29. Or 704. 96. So it's 2030. It was hard to read from where I was. How do I get rid of this? Discard Q. So it's 2030. 070604 4 96 Thank you, Ramid. We got the tunes going. Okay, that's the start. Start old me. I've only played this once before, guys. Stop it. Let's go watch a movie. Great, it's a, a snuff movie. The, the title is Enough Snuff. Enough Snuff. Enough's Not Snuff. Okay, so there's no objectives. We're done. Game over. Ramit? Hello! So there was five on the downstairs picture? I can't on believe this one. that. Ramad still has this there's photo. There's a nine. Ninth I need April. the key. Hello? Please help me. Help to kill me. Help to kill me? No thanks. What happened to Ramad's house? I have to find out. But the door is locked. Yeah. Maybe there is a spare key in this house. Can you I have to find it. Can you spare a square? Ramad? There you are. You little devil, you. Zoom it in. I don't know why it's so tricky. There we go. I think this is his room key. I have to check what happened there. That's not cryptic at all. So I played this too. Are you saying me? A few times. The door didn't open. There. Here. See? It didn't do that one time. And I was wandering around here forever. It's true that Ramad didn't choose the wrong woman. So there's a seven. It's a shame he's gone now. Which the first time I played it, I thought was a one. Nothing. Hello. Open. No! 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 
the wife and daughter were killed in the closet in the bathroom. Ramad's the fucking killer. This is Ramad's house and he's the killer. And then there's a number on this one. We already seen that, right? Seven. Some oil ski. More oil ski. It's good. And then the padlock. Okay, so I wrote this down because it took me a few tries to figure it out. And it was the numbers that we got from the pictures. Five, two, nine, seven. I didn't expect it. It turns out that Ramad has a secret room in this house. What is he hiding? It's a good question. Ramad, what are you hiding? Hey. So you need these to put in those spots and you're going to need six altogether. So we got one. And they're randomly placed around the house too. So they won't be in the same place as I pick them up. Like some might be, but... So there's two. There's three. Four. You can check the drawers too. Oh, there's cassette tape. Not no. Could be in the cabinets. We're missing one. Missing one. Right? One, two, three, four, five. I thought I saw something there. Right there. Oh. Oh, yep, that's it. Pick it up. There we go. I guess I gotta put some oil lamp, lamp oil in. Because it works better when you put oil in it. And there we go, we got our six stones. This is really going to up the real estate value of the home. You, there's like the other game I played. Where they had this great big place under their house. So the yin and yang. Yin and yang. We got the snake ski. Everything's pretty small in 4K. I don't know if it's bigger in 1080. Skull ski. The bird ski. The wolf ski and last not least the dog.
So you're looking for a cassette tape. Could be a couple different places. Here it is here. And that's the only one you have to listen to. The other ones are just story. But what he says and what is written are two different things. Listen. Listen to what he says Today and look at what's written. Today is the most written. beautiful day in our lives. Day three, month five, year 22. God has united us in a beautiful love relationship. Hopefully this relationship lasts until we die. Uh. So he said, he clearly said 22. But the thing is that it's 92. Three, five, twenty-two. Some more oil. And he clearly said twenty-two. So the first time I listened, I was listening and not reading. And I wrote down three, five, twenty-two. And that was not it. So if you made that mistake too, it's understandable. I see something here. No. Okay. There it is, the pea tree. Or is it the poo tree? I don't know. I am ah. poo tree. Ah, oh, shit. Backstabbing bastard. No warning, nothing. No chance to defend yourself. Light went up, boys. You wake up in this strange room. This is like the game Ebola. If you don't pick up the other lamp, will you be carrying two around? And you'll run out of room for picking stuff up. Use E. And you gotta just mash the space bar. You're gonna want the key. Box key. You just gotta take off the boards. And you're in. You're in. save our lamp oil but we really don't need to save it we got some so this is a code let me get the oil first And it's lever 0101 zero, one, zero, one, and then 0010. Zero, zero, zero. So it's off, on, off, on, off, off, on, off. 
Now, the thing is, you can't collect that and put it in your inventory, and when you get to the next part, you can't come back. Well, maybe you can, but it's a long way back. And if you don't remember that code... That was her. If you don't remember that code, then you'll be pooched. So they should let you keep it, and then you can hit tab, and then go look at it again, you know what I mean? But they don't... So now you got a flashlight that I'll probably never use. There she goes. So as long as she's behind you, you're behind her, I mean, you're good. So here's where that code comes in handy. So it's 0101. And then the green light comes on. Zero, zero, one, zero. Green light comes on. Then you want a fuse ski. You want the screwdriver. Did we put the deke on her or what? Power is now on. Just hope she doesn't turn around. That would be a grave error. So now it's just a waiting game. Just fucking spilt my drink on me. As I made a, a strawberry, apple, um, lemonade smoothie. I used lemonade, put in a whole apple and like six giant strawberries. And there's so much foam that it felt like I wasn't getting at the drink and then it spilt all over my shirt so a bit of a fucking slob not gonna lie but i am scared because this is poo tree or pea tree i don't know just doing a little freak out just go bitch oh she went the wrong way dead end that way so I can't come out yet so you gotta wait for her although we did time that pretty good pea tree poo tree let's go there she goes 
off to the boot tree. Come on, she's behind us now. She is really stalling this. But coming out is not an option right now. I don't want to come out of the closet right yet. Have you checked everywhere? She went that way again. She's going to turn around because it's a dead end. Well, there is a stairway, but she won't go down it. She doesn't like stairs. She's like my cat. Here she comes. She's come behind us again. Are you kidding me? Poo tree. Oh my god. Okay. Oh man, she's milking this. What's well, a chance for another puff? So let's do this. What are you doing, Poochie? Gone to the right of us again. Stuck in the closet. This is Redonk. Did everything right. Okay, here she comes. Jesus Christ, Poochie. She is not giving up this area. She's like, not leaving. That's not it. That one's supposed to be down. They liked it though. You can see that one that was supposed to be down. There you are, bitch. <laughs> This one's a freebie. 
As you can see, it didn't hurt us. We're still a hundo. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. You, you got to be kidding me. Guys, you're supposed to get past here. Like, the furniture kind of falls where it may, and you can't jump over it. Okay. So if you were playing this game for the first time, you'd be thinking, okay, I'm not supposed to go that way. I'm supposed to go this way. But you'd be fucking wrong. Are you kidding me? And look at it sitting off the ground. So that's it. You're, you're pooched. Piece of fucking shit. So where do we start from? Okay, that's okay. I can deal with that. But you'd be like, okay, what did I? What am I doing wrong? You could, you, I mean, there's not many places to go. It's just to this door and back. But you'd be here for a while, wondering what the hell was going on. So we should get pushed this shit out of the way. So you can get on top of that one. But the last one was sitting on top of something. So this one's a little tricky. We're going to have to spark up for this, guys. So there's Poochery. So activate fuse panel. Activate lever. Activate wired panel. To do with as I will. To do with as I will. Poochery. To do with as, as I, I will. Come on. To do with as I will. Well, you're not really giving me much leeway. Your soul is mine forever. Oh, it is, huh? Is it really? They are randomized, but most of the stuff's in these drawers. There you go, Poo or P or whoever you are. Winnie the Poo Tree.
just going to hopefully find our way through here, and everything will be groovy. Don't scare me. I'm coming through. Oh, look, I can see through it. No, I can't. No. It's a figment of my imagination. We're gonna find the Ella Vader. There it is. So, there's not enough power. You couldn't have collected any of these prior. You had to wait till you went to the elevator to find out you need fuel. Bitch. No. I'm out of here. Simple as that. This is it guys, the deepest pits of hell where unfairness is the supreme ruler. There's no way that you're going to pass this course in the first 25 tries, guaranteed. You're, you'll be awful. I asked her, am I good at this or parkour am I friggin' awful? After. Close enough. You have finally arrived here. I have finally arrived for my death. What a shame. Your death is getting closer after. She's not lying about that. Your death is often close. So everything is stacked against you. From the fact that A, Unity is not the best parkouring engine to build games. B, you can't see your feet, so you don't really know how far you can go. C, you've got a little tiny sissy jump. If you're not watching D, if you're not watching your stamina and it runs out, you will die. E, if these jumps, that chain is as skinny as it looks. If you're not dead smack center, you're going in. F, the jumps are very far for the amount of height and speed that you have. And it was designed that you wouldn't pass it. Like it was made very unfair. 
and I'm sure everybody that's played this has died at least 25 times. So uh, this is going to be a guide for people because I know you're stuck here. I had no guide when I figured this out, so I can't even tell you how many times I did it. And I still can barely do it. I'll die at least 15 times for every one time I make it. And to be totally honest, I've only made it once. So look, you gotta be super, super careful. Make sure you're holding your stamina first before you run. And sometimes you can over jump it too. And you will make one slight button flinch. That's all it takes. It's just one tiny little flinch. And you're a goner. So I jumped on that. Three, two, one. I just fell through it. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And then you have to go all the way back to the hallway, come down, listen to the witch, drink all those jumps again, to come here again to find out why the fuck am I falling through it. Like, there's no hints. Activated wire panel, still haven't done that. So you wait for it, and then it has to blink. Right there. I jumped in the middle of the blink when it was blinking, and I thought I screwed up. And no, it turns out that's when you're supposed to jump. I didn't even know it blinked until I jumped. So then I made it this far and found out, oh yeah, of course, it's going to get harder than it's already been. <sighs> My heart's pumping. This is, now this is a super hard jump. So I mean, this is not like a parkour course. And this time I got wise. So I thought I made it this far. I'm going to watch the stupid thing and see the pattern. And see if it blinks. And I'm like, no, it didn't blink. But where the hell is it going? So I think I got to jump onto that, like the one I'm on kidding me? Is it going to blink? Yes. I can't tell you how nerve-wracking and hard this is. Careful here or you'll over jump that chain. Oh my god, that was so hard. My heart's still pumping. It turns out you we still haven't activated the wire panel, guys. Don't worry. The next punishment will be before your eyes. Okay, we're 100. I think they let you be automatically 100%. And do we have health kits? We have two of them. So here's the death tree. It's not related to pea tree and poo tree though. It's a shame that you are trapped and may shrill. You won't be able to escape from me. I beat your fucking parkour death course, you bitch. Come soon. So number one, you're gonna pick up the knife, there it is. But you don't pick it up. It goes in your inventory. It's not in your hand. 
So here's what you gotta do. Now watch this. So you gotta grab the knife. Then you gotta try to run somewhere, which isn't gonna help you much. Go to tab, hit the knife, hit shortcut, select the shortcut, hit tab, hit the shortcut button. That you selected. And look at the knife, it's not even really in his hand. And don't use another health kit. You can get through right here. You won't be able to escape from here. And now it's impossible. So the only way you're possibly gonna beat this, they actually give you a full health when you start. And if you don't have health kits, then forget it. Start the game over. You wanna have at least two health kits. So what I figured was all this fancy shit I tried wasn't working, so just get under it. Make sure you got your you hit your button, you got your knife out. You get one hit. Keep watching your health. You just keep jumping under and swinging. Do it again. Didn't work. Watch your health. You can't see her. She's the same color as everything around you. One hit, use your health kit. And you're gonna get hit here. One hit, that's all you got. I've got multiple hits before, I don't know, I don't know how. I'm trying to get behind her, but she keeps turning around. Colors, everything is fucking horrible. Where is she? She's on the ground and I missed her. She's the same color as everything. Did it guys that's the strategy that's all you can do anything else won't work and now this is still open down here a tab thing like, there's so many glitches in this game so now we have to deal with that on the screen and I can't, oh my God, it's stuck. It's stuck on the screen, hit tab, okay. Fuck. Okay, wait for this guy. Sometimes he's not there, it's random where he is. Make sure the door is closed. That's ramen noodles. Noodles, we call them. Who get things prepared, ramen or noodles? So if you want it to work for sure, Open it up, come out a bit. Stay behind him. He's got a katana, so you don't want to fuck with him. Bad idea to go in there. Okay, there he goes. So now you 
want to hustle. As long as you're behind him, you can't see it. Lock the door. So all you're going to need is this key. It's in the same place all the time. Shit. And this lock. So I've got this one beat. Fdal. Fdal. It's noodles. Why are you in a rush to leave here? Relax. Our problems are not over yet. Don't expect you to get out of here alive. Let's spend some time together. Thanks for the uh, katana. Go in here. Now you can go in here. You can hotkey it. Yeah. Let's go, ramen. I got you beat, bro. Ah. <coughs> Just use the tunnel as your hiding spot. Come on, noodles. Beat wrong. We did it. Otherwise, it was once again it was unfair. So I fucking decided hmm. I was going to beat his I ass. I didn't expect it. It turns out you always win in everything. Are you used to being like this? Maybe. This is the end of our friendship today. You can do anything to me because. This is what I really want. I die. Or you die. What do you think, guys? I agree. Kill him. Dad. Motherfucker. I mean, he put us through hell. He killed his wife and child in the closet in the bathroom. And then he put us through hell. And that parkour, he's dying just for that. And the witch... you no longer inhabited in this place after I defeated you. In your Do you think I lost? You are wrong. Actually, the loser is you. Well, I, you I know that. Moreover, you have dared to fight me. So you should have died. So you die. So let's see the other ending before we finish this. I die or you die I'm gonna release him I won't kill you I won't let myself become like you so he gets to live be free ramen go kill more people oh he killed us so now we've just let the psycho killer on the loose so obviously your better choice is to kill him because at least we've eliminated the threat to other people in the future.
Loyal listeners of Radio Journal. Breaking news this time. A body has been found in an old, abandoned building. His identity is currently still a mystery, because the face of the corpse is unclear and difficult to identify. He sliced currently, us. the police are carrying out further investigations to reveal the true identity of the body. Although there is no certainty yet, the tentative hypothesis suggests the possibility of murder. We hope that the truth will soon be revealed, and the victim's family will get justice. Stay connected to our radio journal for more information. There you go, guys. You're better off to kill him. The devil's a real enemy for you, so make him your enemy. Because, in fact, the devils only invite the group so that... I was, was going to say that. Anyways, guys, it looks like you're better off to kill him. Because otherwise he's he's still roaming on the loose and he's a killer. And he's going to kill you. So I think the right answer is to kill him. Make the sacrifice to the witch and then she kills you. Either way, you die. He dies, she dies, the girl dies, everybody dies. So we went through all that hell just to find out we're going to die. It's, it's an extremely hard game. It needs to be kind of like fixed a little bit to make it more enjoyable. Thanks a lot for coming along, guys. Ziggy, signing out.